Hello, my name is Darren Cawthon, and tonight I'm going to give a quick presentation of Automock. Automock is an automocking container that I wrote to make testing classes that use dependency injection a little easier. And if you can't tell by the name, it uses mock um, as the uh, mocking framework behind it. Um, so I guess I'll just jump right to the code. Oh, I guess just to point out, if you want to get to it, you can go to github.com and search for my name, Darren Cawthon or do a search for Automock. Okay. Um, in my example, I have a really simple class. It's called thing under test and has one method get name. And I have a test that verifies that uh, when get name is called, it returns Sam. The test passes. Uh, everything's great. So let's say somebody comes along and says uh, they want a new method on thing under test. Uh, let's say speak to the dead returns whatever comes out of the dead communicator. I know it sounds like a silly example, it is, but you see I have an interface here called I dead communicator. So what I want this class to do is to bring in a dependency on I dead communicator and then return whatever comes out of it. See, now normally this is where I start using a mock. So I'd, I'll say I'll probably say communicator fake equals new mock I dead communicator. I'll probably call setup on it. Let's see, what is the method on it? What's the word? Returns hello from beyond. And I'll probably make a method here. Speak to the dead. And the result should equal hello from beyond. And since it's a dependency, I'm going to have to bring it in through the constructor like that. Okay, so now thing under test has a dependency on dead communicator, and I can continue, right? Actually, I'm going to run my build is failing because I have another test written up here, and you know I have to. It needs the same thing. So uh, for some time, I would actually bring the mock up here. You know, do something like that, or make a private method on the test class. Um, things got a little hairy, I thought. So what I did instead was to, I made a um, an auto mocker, auto mock container. So I'm going to go ahead and pop that out here. Oops. Okay. Okay. On my test class, I actually have an auto mock here, private member, and on every test run, it's going to set that to a new one. And here's the difference. I'm going to say mocker dot get or sorry, resolve. Okay, instead of creating my own mock here, I'm going to say mocker get mock i dead communicator. Of course, I need to make this method. Oh, sorry. No, I don't. Okay. Now my project builds. You might be wondering what just happened. Well, instead of actually newing up thing under test myself, I'm now resolving it out of my auto mocking container. Um, what the auto mocking container does is it will inject mock objects into any dependencies that haven't been established. So, in, like in this first case, 
you see I've I've created no mocks or set up no mocks. So whenever it tries to resolve thing in her test, it will see that it's dependent on a I dead communicator, and it will just create the mock and, sh and shove it in. And in this case, before I resolve it, I actually pull the mock out. In this case, it will retain the the mock object that I'm setting up and pass that under thing under test. So in this case, I can go ahead and make my test pass. Return what's the word. And I get all greens. Now let's say there's another test that I want to do. So let's say ring the bell. Let's say ring the bell rings the bell. I can save our thing equals mocker resolve thing under test. Var result equals thing dot ring the bell. Now I have an interface down here called iBell ringer with one method ring the bell. So I'm going to make sure that the thing under test uh, calls that method. So say mock i ring the bell I'm sorry i bell ringer verify ring the bell times once oops okay let's go ahead and make this method great and there's no result okay I actually have a test here I say I'm basically calling ring the bell and I'm going to verify that ring the bell on the bell ringer was called. So let's run that. It's going to fail. Just a note here that look I haven't had to change this test and I haven't had to change this test. Everything just flowed together. So now let's make this pass. I'm going to bring in that dependency. Let's bring in the bell ringer. And it passed. Okay. Now there's not that much of a difference between the test that I would write normally uh, without AutoMocker and with it. But with it, you can see I have fewer lines. Um, you never see any. I never, I'm not wasting lines when I say you know var mock equals new mock. Yeah, basically all that newing of the mock you don't see. Um, so that saves you at least one line. Um, your test can stay focused on what you're specifically testing, and you don't have to have your test cluttered with a whole bunch of setup just to get your class to, to build or get your project to build because your class is dependent on a number of things. So, um, yeah, it's not that big of a project. Um, it's This is pretty much all it does, but I think it find, or makes testing pretty help. <laughs> Sorry, pretty easy. Um, if you have any questions, you can email me at darren at Thanks.